So it looks like the Clash team saw your feedback regarding these monthly events, and in today's video, I'm going to explain the next Super Troop Spotlight event that will allow you to collect some ore for free. This one is just like the Super Dragon Spotlight event last month, but this time around, the Rocket Balloon is the temporary troop for this season. Starting on April 11th, all Town Hall 8 and above players will find the Super Ice Bath on your villages, and the Rocket Balloon should be the first free reward unlocked. This Super Troop will populate in your army training tab and remain for the length of this event. If you are a Town Hall 11 and above, you will have the option to have three super troops boosted since the rocket balloon is technically the special event troop. Now, if you've never used a rocket balloon before, it is just like a normal balloon. The only difference is that it has increased movement speed for the first four seconds. It's also a defensive seeking troop, and it's also very vulnerable to the Archer Queen. So I put together this little example at Town Hall 9 to show off the Queen's giant arrow, but we gotta think about how we're going to eliminate the defensive Archer Queen. You can do this with lightning spells, and you can also do it with the Barbarian King, exactly what we did here. But the thing about the rocket balloon is that you do not need to drop all of them in one place. You can actually drop them throughout the base like we're doing here to pick off defenses. They'll basically rush in. On the left side, you'll see the difference between the normal balloon and the rocket balloon speed. And so what's really cool about the rocket balloon is that you can just trickle them in maybe one or two at a time to take out defenses and basically wreck opponents out in multiplayer battles. During this event, your task is to collect a special resource called ice cubes by attacking other players' villages. Each star earned will award 200 ice cubes towards your total score. If you're using a normal army without rocket balloons, you could earn 600 ice cubes for a three star. By adding rocket balloons to your army, bonus ice cubes will be added to your overall score. Just like the Super Dragon Spotlight event, there's also a rewards track with two different tiers that requires the collection of 10,000 ice cubes to fill, or you could simply gem it finish to unlock items such as exclusive decor, a 30% training boost and or to spend on hero equipment. The bottom tier is the free rewards track which awards 3,150 super medals and the upper tier is for players who purchase the special event pass with real money to earn an additional 5,000 super medals. The price on that pass is more than likely going to be $4.99. All of those super medals can be spent in the rocket balloon spotlight section of the trader tent. Once you've completed the main rewards track you can continue to collect 8,000 more ice cubes to fill a bonus track worth an additional 650 super medals. And I think they were trying to make things a little less grindier than they were last month. So one of the things you're gonna notice about this trader shop is that they are not offering any free skins, nor is there a hero equipment available for purchase. And I think what they're trying to do here is offer you guys more options to collect or for those hero equipment upgrades, because a lot of players have been getting discouraged with the pace of the offerings or the pace of the release of hero equipment and trying to upgrade them, it just starts to feel like you're falling farther and farther behind, right? So we have three different options up top for starry, glowy, and shiny ore. And then below that, there are more options to purchase the same resources. The first one, starry ore, can only be purchased once for 70 starry ore and 2,000 super metals. It's really not a lot. Glowy ore can be purchased twice for 1,500 gems per purchase and 400 of the glowy ore. The shiny ore can be purchased three times, 1,500 super metals, which is 4,500 super metals if you buy all three, and a total of 6,000 of the shiny ore. Now, when we get to the next section, we have starry, glowy, and shiny ore, and it looks like the starry ore can be purchased nine times for 325 super metals, which is 2925 total for a whopping 90 starry ore, which is really nice not a lot in the grand scheme of things. Glowy ore can be purchased 15 times for 280 metals, 4,200 in total for 900 of the glowy ore. And then the shiny ore can be purchased 40 times for 325 metals, which is 14,000 super metals for 14,000 shiny ore. And then below that, you have the option for another exclusive decoration, runes, books, uh, shovel, potions, wall rings, etc., etc. So you really have to look at how many of the super medals you have based on whether you're playing for free or you're spending money and really decide what is the best option for your accounts.